Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. I am posing as an illager right now because I'm being a little bit silly. Uh, we have a kind of a shortish episode for today because I have sort of a big setup for the next episode after this one. I wanted to show you guys a little bit what I've been doing. There's some uh, extra chests here. I've been, I made a new set of diamond armor and uh, been trying to put together a good set of books to apply to these. You can see Aqua Affinity going on the helmet along with uh, the usual mending, unbreaking, and protection four. You see all these are prot four, unbreaking three, mending one. Um, as well as unbreaking and mending for the shield. Now, <clears throat> I've been getting that set up. I've been enchanting books. I've been, I've been, you know what? We should be getting some experience going, perhaps, in case we do a little bit of combining. I think we're going to put some stuff on the sword here. We only have fire aspect, sharpness, and looting three. And I would like to add uh, unbreaking and... To it, uh, as well as mending. Uh, I think I have a men some mending books up here. So yeah, um, I was fiddling around with the villagers, and uh, I successfully got a unbreaking three trade. I think it's 19 emeralds. So that is really good because unbreaking three is the most common enchantment that you want when you're making really good stuff. Um, you want your sword to be unbreaking. You want all your tools and weapons and armor to be unbreaking three. And uh, the one that I'm having trouble getting is Thorns 3. Apparently you can't get that from an enchantment table. You can get Thorns 1 or 2, and they seem to be pretty rare now that I'm looking for them. So I may try and get myself a Thorns 3 villager uh, trade when I can. That may happen off camera between episodes because it does tend to be a bit of a time-consuming thing. Now, uh, Scape Cow is doing well. Look, trying to escape. Scape Cow up to her old tricks. Look at her. <laughs> oh, Scape Cow. I do need to recapture uh, uh, a chicken at some point with some seeds and then uh, put a name tag on it and call it Darkwing Duck. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know uh, when I'm going to get another name tag. So let's see, what do we have here? We have our unbreaking and our mending. So we're going to apply those to the sword. Because with fire aspect 2, sharpness 5, and looting 3, that is almost a perfect sword. I'd like to add knockback 2 to it at some point. Look, we just broke our anvil. Let's make another one. Uh, but that's not super urgent for me. Anvil. There we go. You need three blocks of iron, which is 27 ingots, and then four ingots in addition. Okay, brand new anvil. Good to go. Let's put the sword back in and apply a mending. Cost of nine. And hopefully one day when we add knockback two to that, it won't be prohibitive. Now, I have been cooking up netherite scrap, as you can plainly see. But we do have some extra ingots in here already. I found that netherite scrap actually digging a long hallway in the nether to the coordinates that I have calculated to be the place where a woodland mansion would be. And that is a bit why we're gearing up, is because we want to do that, that mansion and we want to do it well. But I think this armor that I have on is going to be good enough with prot 4, prot 3, prot 4, and fire protection. Which is not ideal, but it's a good enough set of armor that with a, a sword like this we ought to do just fine. Um, it does have mending on it, which means I could actually mend it using this stuff. Oh, also in addition to our silk touch pickaxe, we have a fortune pickaxe too. That's all, all good to go there. Three, unbreaking three, efficiency five, mending one, and netherite. So that, that pick, this pick are done. The sword is close. And uh, this diamond armor, it's on its way, along with this shield. I just need to get some more books. And like I said, I think I'm going to be able to do most of it here, uh, with the exception of Soul Speed 3 for the boots, for walking fast in soul sand. You have to get that from a villager or other... You can't get it from a table. You need um, It's a treasure enchant, so you can find it 
as loot, or you can trade with villagers for it. And then also Thorns 3, I just think that's gonna be the way that has to go. I'm gonna try applying Thorns 3 to all these things, and see if that helps me with something like, oh, I don't know, the Wither, maybe, one day? Killing the Wither is really hard in Bedrock. Uh, I don't know if that's still true in 118. Um, so yeah, uh, let's head over to uh, the villager area. Um, do we, I think we actually have some spare emeralds over here that I want to bring with. And um, we've got, I think, plenty of books over there right now. Because we've been, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Uh, that's fine though, I can actually go this way. I want to show you guys the new way to get to the uh, village because I got tired of getting lost. Hi, escape cow. Can you please stay inside? <laughs> you are you are one weird cow. Here, let's take a picture with escape cow. Oh, looking so nice. <laughs> wow. All right, um, <clears throat> here's the new way to get to the village. I got tired of getting lost uh, and sinking in snow and stuff. So I dug, and here's a nice little cave here. We're gonna have to explore sometime. But I dug my way to the village, and uh, actually home from the village is what I did. Are we running right now? Look at all these blocks I can pick up. Um, my inventory was full when I made this hallway. And anyway, uh, I dug my way from the, from the village back to, ooh, it's getting dark, back to camp, back to the main base. Um, and uh, now it's a really super handy hallway. There's not snow to sink in or enemies to fight. It's just a nice safe road between these two spots. Okay, so they're dying. As you can see, things are a little different around here. We've got um, books, not much. That enchanted books go there, but I brought them all home. Here's my tree farming stuff. And in fact, let's go ahead and go one, two, and I'll dump a lot of this stuff in this miscellaneous spot since we don't really need it. I don't mind having a little bit of stone there actually. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna do our Fletcher trade. So you want two stacks of wood because that will become eight stacks of planks. There's eight which become 16 stacks uh, of sticks. And each eight stacks of sticks is a good trade. Now, these guys can climb ladders, but they I don't think they can open trap doors. So that makes it a little bit tricky, keeping them in place. I think I might want to set up something like I have with my Unbreaking 3 villager, and I'll show you guys that, where I can access them without having to open up their escape. Right, so they could escape here if I left this open, you know, or they followed me up and were quick, but if I go in uh, here, I could theoretically trade with them through this window, but I can't reach him right now. So that's a little problematic in itself. Now this guy is kind of the best of both worlds. I can always reach him. And uh, he's the one that trades me uh, Unbreaking 3 for 19. You can see he's charging 64 right now. Yeah, Unbreaking 3, because I have bought all the books that he will sell me. But I think as soon as he sleeps and can access his lectern still, he'll be fine. Uh, and he'll drop his prices again. Now, the other guys are down here. And I'll show you what's going on with them. I wanna, I wanna get a Thorns 3 guy down here. But for now, what we've got is we've got um, 32, what is he? Protection 4, that's an important one, because we want that on all the armor. Uh, Infinity, it's only 8 emeralds, that's why I decided to go ahead and lock him in. And then the, here's our 14 emerald mending guy. So I'm thinking uh, Soul Speed 3 and Thorns 3 and, I don't know, something else um, wonderful. If I could get like an Efficiency 5, I think that that would be a good one to lock in as well. Uh, so, that is the current state of things in the village. As you can see, I still need a better way to get up from 
those guys in this fancier building up to my home away from home up here uh, but it's working out well um, getting these trees and trading them to these guys for emeralds and then using those emeralds uh, to trade for enchanted books uh, but it's a slow process it's a time-consuming process so you know it sort of is what it is all right I'm gonna head back home and uh, I'll join up with you guys again actually before I head home I've got a plan with beds since these two Fletchers are the only two that have access to each other, I want to see if we can encourage a little bit of uh, procreation. I'd love to see some kids around here, and maybe, maybe I need to give them some carrots. You never know who's going to react to the bed. It could be this guy. This guy could be like, hey, I'm in the mood for making a baby, because the beds are there and they're not too far away from him. Um, but what we want is for these Fletchers to react to the beds. And it's possible that these guys down here are all getting in a lovey mood because of these beds. But that is not actually our goal. And I'm hoping maybe these guys are just a little low on food. And if we uh, fill up their inventories with food, they will be willing to make some babies. So we'll give them some privacy and we'll check on them later. All right, home sweet home. Uh, I better not go in that door, I'm worried. Escape cow is gonna be escape cow, <clears throat> so uh, we'll take the uh, we'll take the back door. It's fun to see the house from this angle with the uh, with the roof line and everything. Uh, and we don't get to see it from this angle very often. Excuse me. Thank you. We gotta get in here. Alrighty, ouch. I say alrighty a lot when I'm transitioning in this game, I find. It's a habit. Uh, okay, so we want to go to a woodland mansion, and we want to make sure that we are stocked up. The reason we want to go to a woodland mansion is because we want to make sure that uh, we have some totems of undying. At least one in our offhand at most times and once we get all of our armor and gear really really the way we want it because it's a bummer to lose that stuff and if you have a totem of undying you increase your odds by quite a bit and then we'll also want to work on a potion of uh slow falling at some point as well and then that's going to enable us to look for the stronghold and uh venture into the end which should be a lot of fun Ooh, inside the old head okay so i want to make sure i've got everything i need I'm gonna want a bed. Uh, where's wool? Let's see, my animal drops are up here. Uh, I don't have enough wool for a bed. That's so ironic because I have so many beds. Are there any random beds in here? Or wool blocks? Anyone see a bed? No? What is this? Oh yeah, dripstone. We got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, bed or wool? Maybe there will be enough string to make a bed. I never did get cheap. We're one string short of making a bed. Fortunately, I saw some over here in the animal drops. Boy, talk about making this happen by the skin of your teeth. Okay, we're going to turn the string into wool. And then we're going to combine the wool with wood. Oh, we do want some wood as well. Although there's plenty of wood in the mansion, honestly, isn't there? So I guess we'll just bring a bit. Um, and we'll turn enough of that into planks that we can make our bed. There we go. Okay, so we can bring a bed. And uh, I think with our sword and our um, pickaxe, I, I mean, I can't... And blocks... This will reset our spawn point. The axe will be important, but we've got enough there. And there's mending on it. Got some building blocks, got some spare iron. We got a bucket. Do we need water? I can't see any reason not to fill the bucket with water first. Other than in real life, that would make the journey much more difficult because it would be so heavy. What's in here? Huh, there's a little bit of crops stuff. Uh, all right. Well, I'll show you how we're going to get 
to the mansion. It involves the nether. The mansion is very far away. It's like 40,000 blocks away. So we're going to take the nether because every one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. And I've already dug all the way to where we need to go. Uh, hello. How did I... Where is my... Is it at the bottom? I think it must be. Oh yeah, I remember where it is. I did it at y equals 15, just in case I ended up finding uh, any ancient debris. And that's where the 50 ancient debris we got was from. So I'm gonna go about 500 blocks this way, and then I'm gonna turn right, and then I'm gonna go 5,000 blocks. And then I will meet you for the next episode. We'll take on a woodland mansion. We'll do the whole thing in one episode. That'll be the goal. And uh, this episode's a little bit short. But the next episode should be pretty jam-packed. So, uh, hoping you guys are having a wonderful day. And thanks for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time in the basement.